my personal fight against my own immurement, my own hiding behind a wall because I was a frightened young man, could be seen as an allegory or as a microscopic example of something that is capable of much larger interpretation. Nations and religions and groupings of people of one sort or another wall themselves in behind their ideologies because they're frightened of the other. I've written all this on the fucking website. That's, uh, groups of people get frightened and they then build walls and it then makes it harder and harder for them to establish lines of communication with the ones that they consider to be other, the foreigners, the evil ones, you know, the towel heads, the Muslims or the Christians or whoever it might be. In consequence, we flounder around in a situation that one would have hoped would have died out at the end of the 16th century with the Fourth Crusade. It's an expression of my belief that we are all capable of change and we're all capable of change for the better and that if we are fearful and in consequence of that fear we separate ourselves from others and point fingers at them and want to fight with them we are all individually and as groups capable of moving away from that position into a position where we say hmm, maybe it would be better to try and understand other people unfortunately we have failed to transcend our bigotry and dogma and attachment to fundamental ideologies and in consequence we're still blowing each other up at an alarming rate. I feel that if with my work I can adopt and express the position that that's a very bad thing, I will do so now and tomorrow and I shall continue to do so for as long as I continue to work.